the concept of responsibility is closely linked to human nature, guilt, innocence and punishment. Punishing an innocent person goes against basic human rights and the principle of nature justice. To address this, the legal defense of insanity exempts offenders with mental disorders from punishment. This principle, which is based on the McNaughton rules in English law, is recognized by civilized countries, including by India under Section 84 of the Indian Penal Code. The Indian law clearly states that nothing is an offense which is done by a person who, at the time of doing it, by reason of unsoundness of mind, is incapable of knowing the nature of the act or that he is doing what is either wrong or contrary to law. However, countries like Germany, Argentina, Thailand and some US states have banned insanity as a defense. This has sparked a heated debate among lawyers and psychologists. But did you know that insanity is not a medical concept but a legal one? That is why it is essential to define what legally constitutes insanity. Most criminal justice systems believe that they need to balance the need to punish offenders with the need to prepare them to return to society. But there's a fierce debate on how to treat mentally ill offenders, whether they are in prison or in a psychiatric hospital. The insanity defense is not always successful. In the US, it has a success rate of only 26%. India also conducted a study of 102 cases in the High Courts. The study, done over a 10-year period from 2007 to 2017, found that the courts rejected the insanity plea in 74% of cases. In the US, 50% of the inmates are deemed mentally ill. This alarmingly high number highlights the problem of inadequate preemptive care and a lack of treatment after conviction. Mental health spending worldwide averages about 2% of the GDP, which means that many mentally ill people do not receive the treatment they need. That is why the intersection of mental illness and law requires greater awareness, along with more comprehensive policies that address the challenges and ethical considerations involved.